the Browns seem to get where they are. This game against the Ravens, hugely important. Uh, Kevin Stefanski and Miles Garrett both talked about it today. We kind of put the blinders on and focus on that game that's right in front of you. And it's it, like I mentioned, it's a great opportunity. We're on the road, uh, division opponent. Uh, we know what the the standings are and all those teams. I, I get all that, uh, but the focus is really to go down there and play good, clean football. I mean, right now it's the biggest game of the season, and that's not only just because it's the next one. You know, right now uh, we have to have to get rolling. It's a very crucial game for us. And, uh, and the next one will be as well, but we have to focus on this one, you know, the division matchup, and uh, we're going into leading the division if we win it. But right now, you know, it's, a, it's a tough task. It, you know, we have our, our work cut out for us on defense, but uh, I like the guys who we have in this room and who we're going to play on the field. Garrett also said he expected to be able to play along with Clowney. Um, there's no way of getting around it. They, they need the next two. Oh, well, I mean, look, for as bad as everything is right now, it's sitting at two and four and knowing there's games that you gave away and you did not win. Um, you are one and oh in your division. Next two games, you got Baltimore, you got Cincinnati. Um, you got a chance here in an eight day period to not only retake the lead in the AFC North, but also to be three and oh within that division. They've always matched up very well against Joe Burrow and the Bengals. Um, so we'll see, you know, how that falls next week. You know, Lamar has definitely kind of been the Achilles heel. Um, but for the question for the Browns is when they play the Ravens and if they are able to run the ball, they usually can, you know, handle that team the way it's constructed. Um, if the Ravens sell out and be able to take away the run like they were able to do in pretty much both games last year, predominantly the Sunday night one when the Browns went down to Baltimore, really, really took Mitch up out of that game. So you get to an issue where you're relying too much on the quarterback. You become a one way football team and, you know, the wrong way, essentially, for the Browns. I mean, the Browns we maybe are a one way team as far as running it. Anything you got in the passing game is kind of, you know, a little gravy after that but if you take away the Browns run you really really hamstring what they can do on the offensive side of the ball but again this team is two and four um but right now you're in a position where you can control your own destiny and you know for anybody in the AFC North I think the route to the playoffs might be the division unless a couple of teams really get hot right now because it doesn't look like anybody is making enough noise on their own where you're going to start talking wild cards so look if you can get yourself to a position where you can maybe you know after all of this mess um, you get yourself to uh, a lead in the AFC North, trending closer to when Deshaun Watson returns to this team, and all stuff that this team, you know, can view as positives, and they can kind of erase, you know, some poor play over the last three weeks.